Imagine turning on your computer in the morning, not to check emails or scroll through social media, but to make millions of dollars trading stocks, all from your bedroom. This isn't a fantasy, but the reality of Takashi Kotegawa, better known as BNF. From his modest apartment in Tokyo, BNF became one of Japan's most successful and mysterious day traders, amassing a fortune of over $150 million. How did he do it? What strategies did he use? And what can we learn from his incredible journey? This is the riveting tale of BNF, Japan's most brilliant trader, and how he conquered the financial world from his very own bedroom. BNF's journey began, like many others, humble and full of uncertainty. Born in Ichikawa, he moved to Osaka for college, where he struggled with finances like any other student. But one fateful day, while channel surfing, he stumbled upon a TV special about the stock market. This program was a turning point. The excitement and potential of stock trading captivated him, and he decided to delve into the world of finance. He was particularly inspired by Victor Niederhofer, an American hedge fund manager known for his bold strategies and significant losses. Niederhofer's story was a mixture of triumph and caution, and it resonated deeply with Takashi. Admiring Niederhofer's daring approach, Takashi adopted the initials BNF from the Japanese phonetic rendering of Niederhofer's name. With a new identity and a clear goal, BNF was ready to dive into the stock market, despite having no formal training or background in finance. But starting from scratch was no easy feat. BNF had to educate himself. He worked part-time jobs, saving every yen he could. When he wasn't working, he was studying, devouring textbooks on stock trading and analyzing market trends. His dedication was relentless. BNF's evenings were filled with reading investment strategies and his weekends were spent practicing trades on paper, honing his skills before risking real money. It took him two years to save up $13,600, enough to start trading. This seed money was his ticket to the big leagues and he was determined to make it count. In 2000, BNF entered the stock market at a time when Japan's economy was in a deep recession known as the Lost Decade. The stock market was volatile and unpredictable, a daunting environment for a novice trader. Yet, BNF saw opportunity where others saw risk. He developed a contrarian investment strategy, focusing on stocks that had dipped significantly below their 25-day moving average, betting on their short-term rebounds. This strategy was not without its challenges. BNF's early trades were a mix of small successes and painful losses. Each loss was a lesson, each gain a validation of his growing skills. He learned the importance of discipline, patience and emotional control. In the bear market, fear and panic were rampant. Many investors were quick to sell at the slightest downturn, but BNF's approach was different. He understood that patience could turn temporary losses into substantial gains. By 2001, his portfolio was growing steadily. His ability to stay calm and collected amidst market chaos set him apart. When a crash in penny stocks panicked most investors, BNF's calm and calculated trades yielded substantial profits. He meticulously analyzed each trade, learning from both his mistakes and his successes. His initial investment strategy evolved incorporating more sophisticated analysis and risk management techniques. Within two years, his initial investment had ballooned to $1 million, a testament to his growing prowess as a trader. But BNF's greatest triumph came in 2005 with the JCOM Co. fiasco. JCOM Co., a newly public telecommunications company, became the center of an unprecedented trading error. An employee at Mizuho Securities intended to sell one share of JCOM at 610,000 yen, but mistakenly entered the order to sell 610,000 shares at one yen each. This clerical error resulted in a massive undervaluation of JCOM shares. Most investors hesitated, suspecting fraud or a technical glitch. The Tokyo Stock Exchange's price limit system prevented the stock from plummeting to such an absurdly low level in a single trading session, but it still dropped significantly. The market was in disarray with investors unsure whether to capitalize on the apparent anomaly. 
Amidst this chaos, BNF saw a golden opportunity. With his characteristic decisiveness, BNF acted swiftly. He purchased a substantial number of JCOM shares at the incredibly low price, knowing their true value far exceeded the market's panic-driven price. He amassed 7,100 shares, which constituted a significant portion of his portfolio. His bold move was a calculated risk, backed by his understanding of market psychology and technical analysis. As the error was corrected, the stock's value surged back to its rightful level. Mizuho Securities was forced to buy back the shares at a much higher price to rectify their mistake. BNF sold his shares for a staggering profit, netting over $15 million in a single trade. This bold move cemented his reputation as a genius trader. It was not just luck. It was a combination of keen observation, rapid decision-making, and an unflinching belief in his analysis. As the global economy recovered from the dot-com bubble, the market conditions changed. The bull market of the early 2000s posed a new challenge for BNF, whose strategies thrived in bear markets, yet he adapted. BNF noticed that not all stocks rose simultaneously. By predicting the lag in core company stocks, he continued to make profitable trades. BNF's ability to adapt was crucial. The bull market meant different dynamics, and his contrarian strategy needed tweaking. He focused on identifying undervalued stocks of solid companies that lagged behind the general market trends. His patience and meticulous analysis allowed him to spot these opportunities and capitalize on them. By 2007, his net worth had soared to $153 million. However, the 2008 financial crisis tested BNF's mettle. The global economic downturn triggered by the collapse of the US housing market was a time of unprecedented volatility and uncertainty. Initially, BNF lost $6.5 million investing in Lehman Brothers, believing the giant bank would rebound. The collapse of Lehman Brothers was a harsh lesson, reminding him that even the largest institutions can fail. Undeterred, BNF returned to his roots, focusing on the Japanese market. His belief in his principles and his ability to stay calm under pressure led to a significant recovery. He recouped his losses and even grew his fortune further, reaffirming his status as a top trader. BNF's story is a testament to the power of perseverance, discipline and adaptability. From a broke college student to a multi-millionaire trader, BNF's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. His ability to learn from failures and remain calm under pressure set him apart in the ruthless world of stock trading. So, what can we learn from BNF's incredible journey? Perhaps the most crucial lesson is that success in trading, as in life, comes from a blend of knowledge, strategy and emotional resilience. Have you ever thought about venturing into the stock or forex market? What strategies do you think would work best for you? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if BNF's story inspired you as much as it did us, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more captivating tales of financial success. Thanks for watching and remember, in the world of trading, no one is too big to fail, but with the right mindset, anyone can succeed.